Ed Skier Dykstra was, among other things, a mathematician, and he brought uh, rigor to the area of computer science. Uh, this paper, Cooperating Sequential Processes, um, was used to describe through semi-formal algorithms and examples, um, such as the sleeping barber, conversations and communications, or the banker's algorithm. Um, to describe something similar to what we're studying now, the currency control schemes um, for transactions in a database. Uh, he called these loosely connected sequential processes, and um, the focus was on logical solutions to concurrency control whenever there are um, communication issues. Um, and not on efficiency, and a uh, goal of his in this paper was to um, convince us that there is a way to have a um, consistent outcome. Um, he called it a community of processes that must be well behaved, um, which is similar to what we would describe as a consistent database. Um, there were other parallels between what we were reading about in this paper and what we read in chapter 15. I'll list a few of those are as I saw them. Um, the critical section which needed to happen, uh, needed to complete before another um, critical section could begin um, is to me the concept of serialization. Um, so being able to, to um, process that in, in serial. Um, the actual parallelism is concurrency. Um, I considered the critical section to be a transaction. And then um, another requirement that the solution be completely safe, or the safe sleuth, sluice method, um, is what I would consider to be isolation, what we now call isolation. Um, the overall style um, I appreciated um, started with uh, a simple algorithm and um, but it was a very strong one and then showed uh, another simple algorithm but it was a very optimistic one and then throughout the paper um, generalized and um, came up with better and better solutions which to me was a parallel to um, all the various protocols that we've been reading about and just the various things that they can ensure